I am very disappointed in you, Sophie. I must apologize. It's just that I'm both desperate for a job and for Gordon. He's okay with me doing it, though. Our investigation is making you so lonely that you resort to sex work. I don't mind that, except you're living in a country that outlaws it. Doesn't stop it from moving underground, though. It is a risky business. More susceptible to illicit drugs, sexually transmitted diseases, trafficking even. And don't get me started on the cops harassing us. Uh, what are your stances? I stand for full decriminalization. Ah, same. Yeah. I don't want any government bullshit nor suffering towards everyone, neither the worker nor the client. What I want is for this country to do the same thing New Zealand has done two decades ago. It's not perfect, but it's the best we can get. Then again, I'm not a sex worker anymore, and neither does she. She? Right, I forgot to introduce your new guardian for the moment. Wait, guardian? I'm 26, I'm too old and too white before one. You're not safe though. Come in, Pinky. Ah, for fuck's sake, it's you! You in that black and pink bodysuit! I last saw you in a blue car last year. What do you want from me? You can take off the helmet. The blinders are on. So you recruited a clone of me. Great. Not just any clone of you, Sophie. Remember me back when I betrayed you in none of it last year? Huh? You know. I usually have blonde hair, I wore an old Miami Dolphin jacket. I met you back in 2019, wore a chicken mask, got arrested, got released to kidnap you and Lily, you confronted my other clone sisters, then I kidnapped you two again, along with Marie and Sarah, and after that, we had a shaky friendship. Why aren't you wearing green, Dan? Why is it the lightning here pink? Do you still hate me, Sophie? I still feel like shit after you joined the HGF, Paula. I felt betrayed that day. I thought you'd be on my side of this, Lucy incident, but you became a pig. And I don't want to be related to a fucking pig. Then why are you still friends with Lauren, Lily, and Gordon? Because they're the only HGF agents I can trust. Unlike you, we have stable relationships. Mostly. So, what's still different about me? Actually, don't answer that. I know what you're gonna say. You want me dead after we resolve the Lucy incident, right? What are you talking- Oh, you really want to murder me, don't you? You said clones are people too four years ago, but it seems you changed your tone afterwards. You want us dead after you eradicate Lucy, huh? If you're trying to choke me, it isn't working. I'm still a dead bitch. That's enough, Pinky. Pathetic creature. I am not allowing you to kill me in this moment and beyond. I mean, I wasn't planning on killing you. Regardless, I will not be defeated by such a supernatural being such as your teal skin self. For you see, ever since I joined the HGF, I have been betrayed by my master, Mandy Hooray Remington. Her? Oh, don't be surprised. You already know that by the time I told that I joined them. No, I know that, it's just... Nothing, forget it. He died. Just so you know, she now calls herself the Pink Fox. Or Pinky for short. Yeah, never call me Paula again. Sorry. So, why are you my guardian, Pinky? There have been some kidnappings of supernatural creatures from around the world. Gordon and Laura have been investigating the disappearance since January. For what purpose? We're not sure. Are the whole kidnappings a scheme from Doppelganger? No, it isn't always Doppelganger. Instead, it's the fault of another conglomerate, Capaldi Industries. Mmm, related to Peter Capaldi? No relation, thankfully. I saw twins wearing the same red shirts and khakis taking on a conscious person. I tried saving them, but one of them knocked me out on the verge of death. Their punches were strong. They felt like... steel. Are these cyborgs? Could be. As of today, Capaldi came out over 20 supernatural beings this year. A month ago, we got in talks with a suspecting survivor of the kidnappings. However, she was traumatized. She told us that they've exploited her ice powers, used them by their commands. She's still living in this realm, but it's gonna take a long time to recover from that. And that's why I'm here, looking after you. New roommate, hey? But I have another question for you. You never told anyone what really happened on that Christmas day. 
Come on, Sophie. Between you and us, what happened that led to you getting fired? Sophie? It's best that we leave. And what? Just leave her kind of tonic like that? Something terrible must have happened on that day. You're not helping her. I... did not save them. Huh? He murdered them all. Who murdered who? Senator. Killed his family. And ran away. He killed his wife with an axe. In the basement. I couldn't save her. Oh, don't tell me he killed his children, too. Yes. Oh, my. I thought they were safe with me, preventing him from killing both. Until the morbid twist. They've poisoned their milk. Where did he go? Where did he run away to? Is he still alive? Sophie? May I? I am being monitored by him. It's on my head. I can't... Remove it. He's gonna make me a sex slave after explaining it. You're still with us, Sophie. If he comes, we'll stop it in no time. I'll guard the door. There's no need to! Why? No. No! He's coming! Please! Save me! Save me from the impending torture! Save me! There's no need to. Don't give me that talk, please! Listen to me. The ex-senator is dead. His body was found hanging in Panama City four days ago. It was ruled as a suicide as a result. He's dead! He's dead! He's dead. You'll be alright, Sophie. If you need me, Pinky will help you out till I arrive. You could have told that sooner. I didn't want to trigger her sooner. Anyway, safeguard her till the investigation is over. Man, you look great with red hair. You can thank Painkiller Jane for inspiration. See y'all next time. Bye, Lauren. Well, I'm gonna make dinner for us. I'll make you some scrambled eggs, okay?